everybody, Marshall Law here, and I'm here on some Skyrim Special Edition. I apologize for any, uh, for the mic quality. I'm having some difficulties with the uh, mic. I'm trying to make you agree with me, but honestly, it's kind of a shitty mic. I really need to fix that. But anyways, with that out of the way, what I'm going to be doing here today is showing you guys a uh, glitch, a duplication glitch, using a bookshelf to bookshelf duplication glitch. And, uh... It's a really useful book if you want to duplicate some, some expensive or high value or high important books like the Ogma Finium, for example. And that's actually going to be what I'm going to be duplicating is the Ogma Finium. And I will be, that's actually going to be the first step of a Ogma Finium glitch that I'll be showing you guys in another video I'll post later. So make sure you keep your eyes open for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So obviously the first thing you need for the, uh, video for the glitch is a bookshelf obviously it's called a bookshelf the du a bookshelf duplication glitch and uh, what I like to do when I first start this glitch is I'll go to the books and I like to place a few books first I'll just place three uh, oops I don't want that note there well I guess it doesn't really matter but if I can get things working here if I can press the right buttons all right um, Okay, so now I got the three books placed. I'm going to go down and place Nagava Infinium. Agma Infinium. As you can see, I've already been doing this for a little bit. I got 16. But I only want to place one. Right. Now, the reason why you want to do this, you want to see where the Agma Infinium lands. So you want to situate yourself like this. Take them all. And then move your cursor where the Agma Infinium was, or whatever book you choose to uh, duplicate. In this case, I'm duplicating the Agma Infinium. Now, what you're going to want to do is uh, place the books. Once again, the same order you just had them. I'm going to place my three random books, and then the Agma Infinium as fourth. Now, what you want to do, I'm not playing on the PlayStation 4, by the way, just so you guys know, but. What you want to do is you want to back out of this menu and then right away as soon as you back out of this menu you want to activate your bookshelf to uh, get into the bookshelf before the books load. Um, on the PlayStation activate button would be X, back out button is obviously circle. I'm not 100% sure what it is on the other systems. I apologize for that. But uh, anyways, so let me do that real quick. I'm going to back out and then I'm going to activate the bookshelf right away. Now, as you can see, I got into the bookshelf before the books loaded. And now what I'm going to be doing at this point is I'm going to be pressing square to take all. Like I said, I'm not sure what it is on the other systems, but on the PlayStation, you know, I want to press square to take all. And then I want to activate the bookshelf once again. And when I activate, I'm actually going to be activating the Agma Finium. And that's going to be opening the book and, and popping up all the uh, options that I can choose. Before I actually clear out the bookcase, but I'm still going to clear out the bookcase. Anyways, let me just show you guys that real quick. Okay. So as you can see, I cleared out the bookcase completely, and now I'm in the Agma Finium menu. I'm just going to want to hit Do Not Read and Take. Now, if you look in the menu here, I started out with 16, but now I'm at 17. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. It's really easy, really simple. You can get a bunch of books. Uh, in a quick, rapid pace. Now, the great thing about duplicating the argument of Finium, other than the glitch I'll be showing you guys later, is as you can see, it's at a high value. You can make uh, some serious cash using this glitch. Alright, so now I'm going to do this once one more time. Oh, see, that time I was too slow. It's Sometimes it doesn't like to work. Uh, correctly for you. But most times it should, as long as you're fast enough. I don't think I did that right. I think I messed something up there. Or maybe I didn't. Oh, see, there's 18. Well, anyways, that's really, that's all, that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy, pretty quick glitch. And it's a very useful one. It's, like I said, it's the first step of the Augment Finium uh, glitch I'll be showing you guys here after a little bit so make sure you pay attention for that 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys liked the video, make sure you, you know, drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, helps me out substantially. And also, if you leave a comment, tell me your thoughts, or even I take suggestions on future videos if you guys like to see me do something else. It doesn't have to be on Skyrim. It could be any game of your choosing. If you want to suggest something, go ahead and comment it, or send me a message, or send me a message on any of my social medias. I got links to all those on the... Uh, in the description of this video so be sure to check that out and yeah that's pretty much about it with that you guys have yourselves a wonderful day